this? Is this an intervention? It is. Jump change? It is. Is this an it intervention? Is. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, I want to bring you guys the overclocks for a 3080 Ti. Myself and Rondi have officially convinced Tech Shinji to come on to Hive OS so I can do some testing. He's not been officially converted, but to say the least, at least he set up a flash drive and he put my farm on it so we could do some testing. So here we are inside Hive OS with the 3080 Ti, as you can see right here. Right now we're running Ravencoin, getting just under 51 mega hash at 315 watts in the software. He said the system itself actually adds 50 watts, so 365 at the wall. We have 2090 on the memory, 150 on the core, and the power limit set at 315. So we did some extensive testing. Um, we can obviously bump this up. This is the most efficient and highest mega hash that we found. So realistically, just to bump this up, all we're doing is changing the power limit to 335 because we choked it down to 315 to get some more efficient settings. So once we pump it up to 335, we were getting around 53 mega hash, 53 and a half to be precise. But let's uh, give it a second, let this kick in, see what happens. All right, so there you have it, 53.44. It might go up a little bit. This is pulling 326 watts. Again, we have core at 150, memory at 2090, and the power limit's at 335. So this is pretty much as far as we could push it. It didn't really go over this. So let's switch over to Ergo real quick. I'll show you guys what we're pulling for a hash rate there, and then we will do ETH and ETC. All right, so here we are on Ergo. This is the most efficient that we have found so far. It's 193 watts in the software. Again, about 50 extra on top of that at the wall, so about 243. We have the fan at 100, just for testing reasons. Core is at 1060, that's the absolute core clock for the 3080. Then we have memory at 2600 and the power limit at 250. That is pulling 227.4 mega hash. So let's ramp this up to not so efficient settings. Down here in the power limit, we're going to put it to 270. The memory clock, we're going to leave at 2600. And the core, we're just going to put plus 200. We'll apply that. And we're going to restart the miner. All right, so here we are with a little bit less efficient settings. As you can see, we are 250 watts in the software. We're adding about 50 extra watts at the wall. So it brings you right around 300 watts total. The only thing we changed here was the core clock to 200 instead of being the absolute core clock at 1060. The memory is still at 2600 and the power limit is still at 250. As you can see, we're at 270.7 mega hash. Now let's flip over to ETC. We'll check out the hash rates there. All right, so here we are at ETC. As you can see, we are pulling 69.4 mega hash. This is running at 215 watts in the software. Again, plus 50 at the wall, so it's about 265. The core is at negative 200, and the memory, believe it or not, is at 3850. Power limit at 215. I was shocked that the memory limit was able to get this high. I just kept pushing it and pushing it if you go to 3900, the rig doesn't crash. The hash rate just suffers and it goes down. That's it. So 3850 on this card seemed to be the golden number, so that's where I'm keeping it. And realistically, this was the best setting that we found entirely. The 215 right there for the power limit, we bumped it up to 225. I'll show you, but it really doesn't do much. I'm only doing this to show you guys it really doesn't make too much of a difference. You get almost one mega hash out of it, but it stays under 70. All right, so there you have it, 69.68. I did get this up to 69.9. It was for a brief second, but stables out around 69.5 to 69.6. So I don't know, to me, an extra 10 watts for less than one mega hash 
it's not worth it to me. I would just keep the power limit at 215 to be honest. Let's get over to Ethereum. I want to show you guys what we're pulling there. All right, so here we are on ETH. As you can see, we're getting 69.19 mega hash. We're doing 215 watts in the software. Again, adding 50, about 265 at the wall. 100 on the fan, just for testing purposes so it doesn't thermal throttle. Negative 200 on the core, and 3850 on the memory. Power limit, 215. This is the best setting that we have found. We can pump it up to 225 on the power limit. I'll bump it up real quick and show you, but it stays under 70. It gets close to 69.9. Okay, so as you can see, 69.73. Again, it was up around 69.9, but who knows? It didn't really stay there that long. So down in the description below, I will leave you guys all of these overclocks for Hive OS for a 3080 Ti. If you guys appreciate this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.